Hi, we're here at SIGGRAPH 2012, and sitting here with me today is Bruno Sargent, Senior Product Manager at Autodesk. Welcome. Thank you very much. And of course, Autodesk always has a tremendous presence here at SIGGRAPH. In fact, I'd say probably just about everyone walking these floors uses some form of an Autodesk product. And um, there's some nice topics here that you're talking about at SIGGRAPH, of course, and one of them is virtual production. Yes. So um, we've been working for a number of years with Lightstorm Entertainment and Weta Digital, and um, we're really pleased to be able to, talk, be able to talk about that relationship and that development partnership that we've had and start to um, show the results of that partnership at this show. Okay. And how long has that been going on? Well, active development or engineering development has been um, around 18 months. Okay, and tell us a little bit about what you're doing with them. So, um, coming off the back of Avatar, uh, we mm -hmm. began to uh, talk to Lightstorm about some of the problems they were having with virtual production and some of the opportunities that um, perhaps we could address if we all worked together. And so, we got together with Lightstorm and with Weta and we started really looking at what are the key requirements to help virtual production and uh, what was needed to bring a solution to market that would be beneficial to anyone doing digital filmmaking. Okay, and what are some of those solutions? Well, the key area of focus in this first iteration of development has been around what is needed for the stage and what can we do to develop technology that helps um, a creative like a director interact and work with CG in the context of a live action stage. And exactly what is that? Um, well, for us what this means is um, some new technology that we've integrated into the Entertainment Creation Suite, the 2013 Entertainment Creation Suite, okay. uh, that rolled out at the beginning of this year. Okay, and a key element there is Motion Builder. That's right. One of my favorite products from Absolutely. way back, but um, more and more it's been getting a lot more attention and really it's the key product in a lot of this kind of uh, technology we're talking about. So yeah, the key focus is Motion Builder, but it's also the pipeline between Motion Builder and other products like Maya. Uh, but what you'll see at this show is the work that we've done on Motion Builder. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit about how those products are um, being linked up and actually helping in this kind of environment? So there's new workflows between particularly Motion Builder and Maya to allow live play out of characters from Motion Builder and um, directly into Maya. But I think what's more significant is uh, how we've impacted, uh, using Motion Builder, how we've impacted a, a director's ability or a team's ability to record um, directly from stage into uh, C CG characters, for example, into Motion Builder. So we've enabled um, the ability to uh, capture long takes um, and layer takes on top of each other and really explore uh, a story and allow directors to explore a story in the context of CG. And a part of that would be, for example, a new story tool. It's, it's, in, in, it's similar to a non-linear editing environment, but it allows the capture of, let's say, a performance or a character. Um, for a long period of time, you can do a take, record that, lay that track down, go back, do another take, record that. And you know, in tests to date, we've seen up to 100 characters laid down and played back. And the ability to, rec to record maybe you know, up to 10 characters in one pass. Okay, and we focus a little here on Motion Builder. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the other 2013 product line. So, also included in 2013 are Maya yes. and Mudbox. And there's been new developments across the board in all our products, particularly as, as they relate to how we interchange assets and data between them. Okay, and I know over the years, of course, that has been getting a tighter integration. Yeah. And are there any other highlights of those products that you want to pitch here today? So for virtual production, it really is that live link functionality and the ability mm -hmm. to play a character out from one system or one application into another one in real time as you're working and you can have both systems up and running at the same time. Okay, and your observation here at SIGGRAPH, have you gotten out of your booth? Have you been able to see what other people are doing here on the floor? I'm pleased to say it's all about virtual production this year. And, and not totally unexpected. This is a move that the industry is waiting for and really pushing for. 
and uh, we're seeing a number of companies coming up with new technology that addresses this. I think what we're doing that's really interesting is a solution that goes all the way from world building through previs to virtual production on set, video, uh, virtual cinematography, and finally through to VFX. And do you have any parting words here for the folks who may have joined us here at SIGGRAPH or maybe who unfortunately couldn't make it? Yes, you can catch our presentations and our show online at um, area.autodesk.com. Um, you can catch it live and also recorded after the event. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.